We're going to start with a different kind of clash. Ford Motor Company pushing back against President Donald Trump. It's in response to one of his tweets suggesting Ford could shift production to the new Focus Active back to the U.S. because of tariffs. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaket has the controversy. Ford Motor Company says despite what the president is tweeting, you'll soon no longer be able to purchase vehicles like this Ford Focus. However, they will double down on the Ford Mustang as well as other vehicles. People are able to get things like lower car insurance and uh, still have the room of SUV. Charles Clevenger is sales manager at Tom Holzer Ford in Farmington Hills. Beyond their five-star service and homemade cookies, he says the dealer is now enticing customers with a strong focus on SUVs and crossover vehicles. In fact, the only car Ford plans to keep selling in the U.S. long term is its bread and butter. Mustang is a unique vehicle and it's in its own class. Recent controversy has swirled over a tweet from President Trump implying the Focus Active, built in China and sold worldwide, would now be built in the U.S. due to new tariffs. Auto expert John McElroy has this take. The president seems to think that you can just make a car in any plant and it's that easy. It's not that easy. Car sales are dropping like a rock. Last month they fell by 90,000 units. In the last two years, they've fallen by nearly 2 million units. Translation, Ford is now focused on its other vehicles that are hotter sellers and more profitable. Yet they've also responded publicly on Twitter with a message of their own. In the meantime, a Ford factory in Wayne that built the Focus will see a new chapter. And in place, it's going to put the Ford Ranger pickup going into a super hot segment, and they're also going to come out with a new version of the Ford Bronco. What Ford's doing should not cost jobs in the United States. Now, if you'd still like to buy a Ford Focus, there are a few still available at local dealerships just like this. As for the Fusion, we're told that'll be phased out within the next one to two years. From Farmington Hills, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. Simon, thank you.